My name is Alexis DeMarco. I am from the Bahamas, which is an English-speaking Caribbean country in the world. Uh, my work is the DeMarco Organization. Being a trans woman, being able to navigate within society in a Caribbean country is very difficult for most trans persons and persons of intersex status. The world is a very cruel place to these types of persons. States need to understand these people exist in their country. These people are risking their lives. These people are from real grassroots communities whose lives are in danger. Different countries have high greater human rights risk than other countries, but everybody who's on the ground defending is on the same equal playing field. So no matter the situation in Israel or in China or in the Bahamas or any um, country, everybody on that front line battle that's visible, that's in the work doing advocacy, I think there needs to be a strong support network from the top agencies who defend human rights. From the Human Rights Council, there must be something in law written and passed down to be able to protect. So I think the safe environment space comes from putting in policies and procedures that will protect defenders that are visible and on front line on the ground. So for me, I was like, oh my God, I'm a part of this marginalized group. Although I do have certain privileges being passable, what they were called passable, but there are persons in my grouping who are not passable. So for me, it became a situation of survival. How am I going to make it? How am I going to navigate in this cruel world? So the personal became political for me and I was able to identify with myself and say, hey, this is just not about you, but it's for the others like you. I use this opportunity to navigate. I use this opportunity to get all the information that I need, to use the mechanisms that I was taught. Now I have a better understanding of it. No matter who or what a person chooses, no matter how a person is born, no matter what you may think a person is, they all have access to human rights. And we are not to deny the access to these human rights. We are to give them these human rights. They shouldn't be asking for something that's already theirs. So I want to encourage everybody, let's stand up for human rights.